This is number 11 on the Elmat sample exam, um, 2019 version or 2020, I think the 2020 version. So we call this rationalization. Our goal in rationalization is to have a denominator that doesn't have a radical sign. It means a denominator, this denominator, this denominator should not have a cube root or a square root or any radical. So to make that possible, what we will do is we multiply, this is one, we will multiply something that will make this value lose its radical sign. So I will multiply, I hope you will understand that I will multiply two versions of this. So I have one, I just need two. Why? Because if that will happen, I will have this result. The cube root of x minus three, this time there are three of them. And that means, if I have three of them, I can cancel this and I will have an answer that is cube root of, uh, I will lose the cube root now. That is x minus three because this canceled out. So again, I multiply two version of this under a cube root so that I will have three of these, this will cancel, and I no longer have any radical, a cube root, a square root, or any radical sign in the denominator. So that is rationalization. But if once you multiply this value, you actually need to multiply it on the numerator too. So you have to multiply this one to this. Now, I will write it in expanded form. It will actually look like this. I have x minus 3, 2x minus 3. And then I have 2x plus 3. That means, I'll just erase this a bit. That means if you multiply this, so I'll put a cube root again here. If you multiply that, that will actually result to an x minus x squared minus 9. So the difference of two squares, x squared minus 9. And if I multiply this, this will result to another x squared minus 9. That means my answer will look like this. A cube root of an x squared minus 9, two of that, one, and another one, so I have two, divided by x minus three. And the answer is letter. And that's it. Thank you for listening.